Hey guys, welcome to Joe Bro Knives. Today, I am doing a video on the UST keychain whistle thing. I just f picked it up because I figured it would be a short little video that I could get for cheap. You know, so it runs about three fifty. dollars So I figured why not. Picked it up. Carried it on my keychain. But the cool thing about it that I really liked, I didn't really care for the whistle, was that it just has this little like container on here it unscrews here and um it came with this paper actually it actually comes with just that stuff that you can fill out and everything in case of emergency over there and everything but I thought that was kind of cool but that came up wrapped in it and uh it just has a little o-ring well if i could get that in shot like i should but it came with a little o-ring so i guess it's supposed to be watertight the threads aren't cut very good it's just if you can see here well let me screw you see how it looks funky it's just not cut straight anywhere sorry if the camera quality is not very good today it just some reason does not want to focus but anyway had it on my keys for two days just for a little bit of testing just cause, and first off, it wasn't even a very loud whistle at all. And if you look in here, what looks weird about that? <sighs> the little ramp that makes, that directs the air up. I noticed it was a little loose, but I didn't really think anything about it. And I had it on my keychain two days, and the little plastic piece fell out. You can see a little bit of glue residue. I would be, I would try to focus that, but my camera's being annoying today but you can see where it's just like an itty bitty dab of glue on there holding it in but yeah i lost the part that actually makes it loud second day on my keys it did come with a little carabiner same exact color the uh split ring right there i barely pulled on it like at all and it did that and bent over and everything i mean the canister is a cool concept, but it's kind of like a peanut lighter, how it comes apart and everything. But, well, I guess not really, because it would be shorter, but kind of the top and everything is reminiscent of it. Is this just not one? Move, that's way out of focus now. But, I figured why not, but now that I think about it, I guess we could try the watertight seal. So, let's go. Well, I'm going to pause it. And I will go grab a glass of water and we'll sink it down in there for about 15 seconds and see what happens. Alright, so I put the paper back in, thin piece of paper, so we'll know if it gets wet. I'm going to obviously crank this down just a little bit, like just hand tight, not super tight. Well, let me take this carabiner off so it's not soaking wet when it comes out. And we'll do 15 seconds one. I know this is boring, but, you know, you gotta do it for the testing. A few more seconds. Okay. Shake that off a little bit. Oh, come on. Focus in. Well, let me dry it real quick so it doesn't, I don't accidentally get water on the paper when I open it. Yeah, like I expected. I expected it to be dry. That's just wrinkles from me trying to shove it back in there, but... Yeah, I expected it to be dry, since it's an O-ring, but... Yeah. That's it for today. If you liked the video for some odd reason, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.